semiconductor memories. A digital processing system invariably requires a facility for storing digital information. The subsystem of a digital processing system which provides the storage facility is referred to as the memory. It has become possible to make semiconductor memories of various types and size. These memories have become very popular due to their small size, low cost, high speed, high reliability and easy of expansion of memory size. Therefore, it is necessary to know the truly principle of operation of semiconductor memory device. Definition Semiconductor memory it is an electronic data storage device often used as computer memory implemented on a semiconductor based integrated circuit. It is made up in many different types and technology. The basic element of a semiconductor memory is a flip-flop. There are number of locations in a memory chip, each location being meant for one word of digital information. The number of locations and the number of bits comp comprising the word varying from memory to memory. This is the block diagram of memory device where the size of memory chip is specified by two numbers M and N as M into N bits. The number of M specifies the number of location available in the memory and n is the number of bit in each of the location. The commonly used chips are 64, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, etc. The block diagram of the memory device where m location of the memory is defined as a unique memory address and Therefore, the P inputs are required where 2 raised to P is equal to M. This set of lines is referred to as address input or address bus. The address is specified in the memory form. So, we have got P lines, then the data input lines are the N lines, which are the input lines and the output lines data and a control input. The number of input required to store the data into or read the data from the memory location is N. One set of N line is required for storing the data into the memory location, referred to as data input. And the another set of N lines is required for reading the data already stored into the memory, which is referred as data output lines. The concept of bus is a conducting line or a conducting wires which will transmit the signal from input to output. These input and output data buses are unidirectional but so your buses are also called as bidirectional bus. This means that the data bus is time multiplex. It is used as input bus for specific time and an output bus for some another time depending upon the read write control inputs. So the control inputs are read write and to select this chip we require a input chip enable input or a chip select etc. The internal organization of 16 into 4 memory chip is shown in the block diagram. This is the block diagram of a memory organization of 16 into 4 memory chip where, where the, to write a word into a selected memory location you require logic 1 voltage to be applied to the chip select and write input and logic 0 voltage to read input. 
This combination of input gives the output of AND gate A1 and A2 where A1 and A2 1 or 0 respectively. A1 at the output of A1 enables the input buffer so that the 4 bit word applied to the data input will be loaded into the internal organization or the select it will select the address location A0 at the output of A2 which is disabled or it is called as a tri-state output. The chip select in signal is applied to the chip select terminal. The word to be stored is applied to the data input terminal. The address of the desired memory location is applied to the address input terminals. A write command is applied to the write control input terminals as read bar or RD is equal to 0 because RD is basically a active low input signal. We have got different semiconductor memory classification such as read write memory which is further classified as random access, SRAM, DRAM and non-random access which is FIFO, LIFO, shift register CAM. Then it is further classified as non-volatile read write memory which has EEPROM, e square prom flash memory and also for, uh, classified as read only memory which is mass program programmable prom. Therefore, the summary is semiconductor memory technology is moving forward apart. Not only are the size of memory being increased and the data density improving, but new form of semiconductor memories such as MRAM are being introduced with the requirement for ever fast, larger, faster and long power memories always increasing. This area of technology will remain one of the most dynamic in the electronic industry. Thank you.